Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been absent from YouTube for probably about three weeks. I think I put up my last video just before Christmas. I'm so sorry about that. I got insanely busy over the holiday season with just family and work. I was working like five, six nights a week till close. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I have a server at a restaurant, so I end up working until like somewhere between midnight and two in the morning. Um, and then if I look a little bit, maybe I don't because I think this lighting is actually washing me out. But if I do look slightly more tanned, it's because I went to the Dominican last week and I just got back two days ago. And, you know, right when I got back, it was amazing because I had four packages waiting for me. Uh, which is really exciting because then I have video content for you guys. Uh, these are packages I've been waiting on to come. I'm not going to show you all of them in this video, but kind of keep an eye on my channel. They're going to be coming up uh, probably a couple more this week and maybe into next week, depending on what I get up to. So for the first video, I am going to be doing my uh, January Ipsy unbagging. But before I do this, I do want to touch on something really quickly. Um... I, like I said, I got home from the Dominican and, you know, I've just been relaxing. I went out with my boyfriend and his dad for lunch today and then I hung out at his house for a while and I came home and I checked on my YouTube channel and there was just a flood of comments and new subscribers from you guys um, that Jessica Braun had sent all of you guys over from her channel. Uh, I did send her a pretty big package. It's not the first one I've sent her. I love her. She's the reason I started my YouTube channel. Uh, she's just so inspirational, so beautiful inside and out. Um, and for me, when somebody touches me like that, um, you know, on such a deep personal level, I want to do something to show them my appreciation. And that's why I did that for her. Uh, I had asked her in her, my letter not to plug my YouTube channel because, you know, I didn't want anything out of the gift. It was just a gift. It wasn't, you know, a bribe to get her to plug my channel but she did it anyways, and I am so grateful and appreciative that she sent you guys all to me. Um, sorry, I'm actually going to get emotional about it because when I started my channel, I sort of thought, you know, does anybody care about what I have to say to you guys? Does anybody care about what I'm talking about? Everybody talks about this sort of stuff. But I told myself that even if I can touch one person, uh, even if I get one person watching my videos, one subscriber, anything like that, um, to add a little bit of sunshine into someone's day, it was worth it for me. And now she sent me all these subscribers, and I'm so appreciative, and I'm so grateful for all the messages, for all the love. Um, like I said, I have to stop talking about it because it's going to make me cry. Um, but so thank you, Jessica, so much, and thank you, everybody who, um, you know, is such a big fan of hers like I am and that took the time to come and check out my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, I don't want to cry on video. Uh, it might happen, but I'm going to try not to. So instead of that, I'm going to get into the content for today's video. Now, before I do my January Ipsy unbagging, I thought it would be kind of cool if I sort of, you know, retrospectively looked back onto the products that were in my December Ipsy bag and kind of did like a mini review, what I liked out of it, what I didn't like, what I've used, what I plan on passing on to other people. I thought that would be kind of interesting. Um, if you guys don't like it, let me know and I'll make sure not to do it next month, but we're going to do it this month. So you already know what's in the bag if you've seen my last Ipsy unbagging. If not, I will link it in the uh, somewhere, either in the description down below or somewhere up here. So the first thing I got was the Ciate um, Velvet Liquid Lip. I love this. I'm wearing it now. Um, it's just super soft, super pigmented. I wear it at work a lot because, you know, I don't have time to constantly be running to a mirror and reapplying. I kind of have to put it on and then go work my shift. I'm out on the floor. I'm talking to people all night long and it lasts so long. I've been kind of like eyeing a couple colors on their website, thinking about trying that out. So I will probably put an order in there and I will let you guys know really soon what I do get. Uh, so the next thing that I got was the City Color B Matte Blush Trio. I'll kind of show you a close up. I'm sorry my lighting sort of sucks. Um, I'm new at this. I'm getting better, I promise. It looks like that. I actually took this on vacation with me because I thought, you know, it's, it's pretty compact. Uh, it'll fit really easy in my luggage. Disclaimer, I did not wear makeup one single day on my vacation. Um, I was at the beach every day, swimming in the ocean, at the pool, running around playing volleyball. There was no time for makeup in my life. Um, <clears throat> but I have tried this out. I'm, again, wearing it today. 
The blushes are super pigmented, super soft, they last a really long time. The only warning I will give you is some of the colors are pretty, you know, bright and vivid, so if you're not into, you know, a, a big blush look, a uh, lighter hand is better. You can always add more. It's really difficult to take it away. The next thing was the uh, Jersey Shore Cosmetics Peppermint Moisturing, Moisture Rich Hydrating Balm. Uh, again, I didn't take this on my trip because I had like a uh, Nivea SPF lip chap, which I didn't use. I left it in the hotel room the whole time. Thankfully, my lips did not burn. I'm actually the only one of all my friends on the trip that didn't get a sunburn, so yay me for uh, SPF 60. But I did not bring this with me, and I know in my last video I mentioned to you guys that I might not be able to use it because it does have cocoa butter in it. Turns out, not a problem. Um, it is really nice. It smells so good, just like peppermint. Again, it's just a clear, you know, I'm not going to put on my lip because I have lipstick on. It's just a clear, clear lip balm. Nothing there. Um, but it's really nice, really easy to slap on, so I'm getting a lot of use out of that as well. The Tarte Maracuja Oil, again, I haven't tried too much, but I, um, I did use it a lot when I got back from my trip. I know I've only been back two days, but I've been definitely putting it in uh, drier areas where I got a lot of sun. My skin started to like look like it was maybe going to burn, but then it didn't. This stuff is a saving grace. I love it. I'm definitely going to keep using that. Now, you would think that this would be an all-positive review. And if anybody watched my last video, you know that the Way Wave Spray was the thing that I was looking forward to using the most. I am so disappointed, but again, you guys can see how straight my hair is. Thankfully, when I was in the, Dominic the, the, the Dominican, I had lovely beachy waves because I was at the beach and the salt water did its job. This did not work for me. I tried it on damp hair, I tried it on dry hair, no matter what I did. It just made my hair super greasy and straw-like, and then I would like tousle it up and it just looked dirty. I'd try and brush it out and it would look like a sad attempt at straight hair or like I just ran out in the rain and looked like a drowned rat. So I'm really upset. <laughs> it didn't work for me. I'm gonna pass it on to somebody who maybe has like thicker hair. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'm so sad, but I think I'm giving up on wave sprays. I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and leave my hair either straight or try and curl it, which doesn't seem to work either. So if anybody has a good product for holding curl, let me know that too. So that was everything that I got last month. So that was my sort of mini review on what I liked, which was most of it, and the one thing I didn't like, which was the one thing I looked the most forward to. But I was happy with it, hence why we get to do another unbagging. All I did was open the envelope just to make it easier for myself. I haven't looked at what's in here. I have no idea what they sent me this month. I was really good about not looking at the sneak peeks, which is really hard for me because I hate surprises. I don't want to wait more, so let's get into the bag. So, oh, okay. So I guess they couldn't fit some of the stuff in the bag. So the uh, theme for this month is Ipsy Metropolis. And... I really like this bag. So it's sort of this like metallic-y blue with like silver inside. This is more my style than this is, as you all know from the last video. Um, I really like this bag. So the first thing we're going to look at are the two things that were outside the bag, which are Love Recipe Acai Berry Mask and an Aloe Mask. So I'm guessing these are just face masks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I tried to read on the back and I, all I could see at first were these directions that are in, you know, maybe Mandarin or something, maybe Japanese, I'm not too sure. But I started reading that and was like, how do I know how to use it? <laughs> There's directions in English down below. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, kind of a ditzy moment for me, but that's fine. So I have only really used face masks that we can get at Shoppers Drug Mart here. They like are all... I want to say like Balea, it, that's probably the wrong way to pronounce it, it's like B-A-L-E-A, -A, uh, different kinds of like peeling masks and stuff. I went to a sleepover with my nieces in the summer and we were all doing them. Um, really excited to try these out. I'm always looking for kind of new things to keep my face moisturized. Now we'll get into the actual bag itself. So the first thing I pulled out is this Colored Rain, ooh yay, okay, matte lip paint in the shade Mars. 
This is what the packaging looks like. And sorry, I'm having box issues. Ooh, so it's got this, oh, that's really pretty packaging, you guys. It's got like a bright pink lid and then like, I guess I could put it the right way up. Uh, and then like pink polka dots all over it. The color looks really, really pretty. It's kind of like a more nudie tone, but like a deeper one. So, you know, actually that's a really long doe foot, but it is pretty like typical doe foot. Just put it right there. That's a really pretty color. Kind of reminds me of uh, the one I have on my lips right now. No, maybe? Let's check. I'm curious. It did go on pretty smooth, pretty softly. A lot of pigmentation. It doesn't look like it's going to take... Oh, no, they're nothing alike. I'm crazy. Can you see? I'm crazy. Uh, maybe a little. The camera makes them look more alike than they actually are. But this looks like it's full size, too, which is great. You guys all know I love liquid lipstick. That is definitely a color I will be wearing, especially... Uh, you know, in the fall and winter time. So really, really excited about that. I will let you guys know next month if I like this or not. The next thing is a Pretty Woman nail polish. Is the shade I can't deal or is that just what it says on the box? I don't know. Okay, companies need to not package things so well because I'm having an issue. I don't know. It doesn't have a shade name on here. Maybe it's I can't deal. Maybe it says that on every box. I don't know. Can somebody tell me? So it's just like this like gray kind of a color. Um, it looks pretty opaque. I was going to smell it, and then I was like, that's weird. Obviously, nail polish. I know what that smells like. Sorry, I am painting it on my thumbnail. It's sort of a thing I picked up from my mom. Every time we go to shoppers, we just like paint a different color on every nail. So that's what that looks like. It's obviously still wet, but that's one coat. So, you know, it goes on pretty opaque. It looks like you'd only need one, maybe two coats. Um, I'm sorry, my nails are so bad. I do bite them. They were really, really long and nice after I came back from vacation. And then I just couldn't help it and I chewed them all off. So got to work on that. The next thing in here is a model, co a model co blush. I'm sorry. I'm like, is there such a thing as packaging illiterate? Like, I know that makes no sense because literacy has nothing to do with opening packages, but I can't do it. So it's a Model Co. blush in Peach Bellini. Now I'm just embarrassing myself. There we go. So it's this really, really pretty, like, peachy kind of color. It's really, really soft. Um... Just right there. Definitely a color that I will wear. It looks like there's a little bit of shimmer in it, which is kind of nice because then you could sort of put it as like either a blush topper or maybe like a blush highlight kind of thing if I didn't feel like wearing highlight, which is unlikely because I wear it almost every day. The last thing is a Smashbox Camera, Re camera Ready BB Cream with SPF 35. Well, that would have been nice to have on my trip. It's in the shade Light. Which, again, might not be good for me anymore because I think I have a tan. But that could just be me and my, my high hopes and wishes. So that is what the light shade looks like. I'm just going to kind of put it right here. It's also very yellow toned and, I mean, it blended in kind of nice, so maybe it'll be okay. I don't know. I'll try it and I'll let you guys know. And if I like it, maybe I'll get the full size. And if I like it and it's the wrong shade... Maybe I'll go pick up the right shade. Who really knows? So that was everything that was in my Ipsy bag. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I really appreciate all the love I've been getting from you guys. Uh, if you like the whole idea of me reviewing last month's bag, let me know and I will keep doing it. Um, like I said, I got a bunch of packages in the mail. I'm gonna So I have another pink box to unbox for you guys, which will be up later this week. And it's sort of like a little sneak peek preview. I went a little insane before I left on my trip uh, online shopping. This is a box of all the goodies that I bought <laughs> from two websites. Um, keep an eye out for those. I'm going to be doing a haul from both of them. And one is ColourPop and one is Dose of Color. So uh, if you guys want to check that out, keep an eye out for those videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. If you want to see any of my you know, makeup collection, how I store my makeup, uh, anything like that, let me know, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.